coffee this morning. And I'm thinking about coffee and Starbucks. Why don't Aussies like Starbucks? Well, as an Aussie, let me bring you up to speed. In Australia, we've got a massive espresso culture. There are cafes on just about every street corner. More cafes in Australia than there are Sari Sari stores here. We enjoy espresso drinks made from high quality espresso where you can actually taste the espresso. This includes milk drinks, latte, flat white, cappuccino, long black. Starbucks sell sugary drinks and brewed coffee, not espresso. A long time ago, I think it was about 2001, Starbucks used to sell reasonable espresso drinks, but they stopped doing that when they swapped out their La Mazzocco espresso machines to Verismo Automatics. I have no idea if this was a good move, a good business decision, business decision, but it forced them out of the espresso market in Australia. They probably got confused with their initial success and potential growth in Australia by not understanding their customer base in the early days. Starbucks was, and always will be, an international phenomenon, it's a success. Here in the Philippines, they're, they're everywhere, they're in every mall. But in Australia, they're only in the capital cities where the international tourists go. So under normal circumstances, um, these tourists will flock to Starbucks outlets for their familiar sugary drinks that they love back home. I have tried Starbucks and it's a rude coffee, but I make my espresso at home and I make it strong. I'm enjoying one right now. If you don't believe me and you're in Australia, just try an espresso shot from any Australian cafe next to a Starbucks espresso shop and you'll see the difference. Starbucks brewed coffee, although Macca's brewed coffee is tastier. I will drink that when there is no espresso readily available. So there you go. My personal opinion on Starbucks coffee and why I make my own that's all for now. Uru, stay safe and have a great day. Oh, before I go, that's one thing I thought. It's a surprise video from the other day. An unboxing. Enjoy. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's real. It's, it's got an Apple logo. It must be real. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving me a heart attack. Shit. Up close and personal. iPhone 12. Pro Max. Pro Max, oh yes. To the next level. Hello. Yeah. I don't give you much in this. A charging cable. What's that? This, this will be the SIM ejector. Oh, so that's why you got the... The charging, yeah, that's whatever. The, that's the SIM ejector. Uh huh. You don't get a charger anymore. Mm -hmm, really? Not even a free set of earphones. No, no, there's no headphone jack. Ah, that's why you got the yeah. thing. Because if you want headphones, you've got to get the Apple Bluetooth earpods, okay. and they're three hundred bucks each. Three hundred pesos. Three hundred bucks. Pesos. No, uh -uh. Australian dollars. American uh, dollars, so 300 uh -huh. American dollars each. Sure. Okay. Yeah. For a pet. Mm -hmm. And they're not that good. But they're okay. Baby girl. Hello. Go back to the store.
So Marshall, this is why I bought the cart before the horse. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now you can try what, it. What did Marshall say? It's like buying what? I forget I it. Mm. It's somewhere in there. Oh, I hope it's not the one that I threw away. That's it. It's even that, like a little cable this long. Mm -hmm. 590 pesos, because it's, it's got that. It's got that piece of fruit logo on it. Why don't they don't give this book? They don't give you stickers anymore? For what? My apple stick? Stick. <laughs> Yep. Hey, that's it. Unboxing the iPhone 12. Now the fun begins.